No matter what else is happening in the world. There is always good news today. Welcome to Good News Today, the program where you will always find good news no matter what else is happening in the world. I'm Mark Teske, your host for Good News Today. I want to thank you for joining us. We're going to begin with our devotional time, which comes from Mark chapter 11, verses 27 through 33. Then they came again to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to him, and they said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority to do these things? But Jesus answered and said to them, I will also ask you one question. Then answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or from men? Answer me. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say from men, they feared the people, for all counted John to have been a prophet indeed. So they answered and said to Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus answered and said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. Wonderful, wonderful day, day I will never forget. After I've wandered in darkness away, Jesus my Savior I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend, He met the need of my heart. Shadows dispelling with Joy I am telling he made all the darkness depart. Oh, heaven came down and glory filled my soul. When at the cross the Savior made me whole, my sins were washed away. And my night was turned to day. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Born of the Spirit with life from above, into God's family divine. Justified fully through Calvary's love, Oh, what a standing is mine! And the transaction so quickly was made When as a sinner I came Took up the offer of grace He did proffer He saved me, oh, praise His dear name Oh, heaven came down and glory Filled my soul When at the cross the Savior made me whole My sins were washed away And my night was turned to day Heaven came down and glory filled my soul Now I've a hope that will surely endure After the passing of time I have a future in heaven for sure There in those mansions sublime And it's because of that wonderful day When at the cross I believed Riches eternal and blessings supernal from His precious hand I receive. So heaven came down and glory filled my soul. My soul. When at the cross the Savior made me whole, my sins were. Washed away, and my 
night was turned to day. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. Our text from Mark chapter 11 comes in the last week of Jesus' life. The chapter begins with a triumphal entry when the people were screaming, Hosanna, he who comes in the name of the highest. He's entered Jerusalem for the Passover, and the chief priests, the elders, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, and the scribes are all testing him, each group trying to discredit him in front of the people. And here in our text for today, the chief priests, scribes, and elders confront Jesus with a question. They ask him for the authority that he does what it is he's been doing. Now, Jesus had already explained that, and he was doing what the Father told him to do, John 5, 19. And that statement that he made was confirmed by the miracles, the signs, the wonders that Jesus was doing. Like Jesus confirmed his ability to forgive sins with the miracle of healing the paralytic in Mark 2, 5 through 12. You see, Jesus had just raised Lazarus, and that sign really pointed to something important. They were trying to trap him so they could charge him with a crime. The crime that they had come up with was blasphemy. Jesus answered their question with a question of his own. He asked them about the authority of John's baptism. You see, the people loved John. He had been slaughtered by Herod just a, a few uh, a year earlier, and he was widely accepted by the people as a great prophet. They revered John. But you see, the leaders, they hadn't submitted themselves to John's teaching and his baptism of repentance. They had rejected John where the people accepted him. So in their response to Jesus' question, they couldn't say that his authority came from heaven because that would... Uh, so show that their rejection was not justified, that they were wrong in rejecting John. But they couldn't say that it was from man because their hypocrisy would be seen by the people. So they had a dilemma. So instead, they gave a dishonest response. We don't know. And Jesus highlighted their hypocrisy by asking them that question. So what did we walk away with? by way of application from this passage? Well, number one, you don't always have to attend every fight or argument you're invited to. Also, sometimes asking questions is a great way to teach somebody and allow them to come to the proper conclusions. They're more apt to accept the answer. And a great question that's been asked before, what must I do to be saved? Listen to the answer in Scripture so that you might be saved. And that's good news for us today.